So let us study this phenomenon in a little bit more detail. Now that we have completed our understanding of increasing and decreasing functions, we will ask the question, are there intervals or at least points where a given function is neither increasing nor decreasing? Because till now we have been introduced to functions only which are increasing or decreasing. But there will be points at least or there might be even intervals in which the function will increase or decrease. And there will be points and intervals in which the function will neither increase nor decrease. It will just keep going steadily in the horizontal direction. So the answer to this question brings us to our next topic which is maxima and minima. Let f be defined on an interval i containing some point x is equal to c. If the value of the function at x is equal to c, f of c is greater than or equal to fx for all values of x in that interval i, then f has an absolute maximum value of f of c on the interval i at the point c. I'll repeat, if f c is greater than or equal to f x for all values of x belonging to the interval i, that is the interval of definition of the function, then f has an absolute maximum value of f of c on the interval i at the point x is equal to c. And likewise, the existence and location of absolute extreme values depends on both the function and the interval of interest. Absolute minima. Let f be defined on an interval i containing x is equal to c as a point in it. If the value of the function at x is equal to c, that is fc, is less than or equal to fx for all values of x in the interval i, then the function has an absolute minimum value of fc on i at c. For example, we have this function y is equal to x square. It's been defined on the interval 0 to 2, the closed interval 0 to 2. We know that y is equal to x square is a parabola and therefore a parabola will either have only one absolute maximum or absolute minimum. If it has an absolute maximum, then it has no absolute minimum. If it has an absolute minimum, then it has no absolute maximum. However, this particular parabola has been defined only on a particular interval and there is no other point to the parabola outside the given interval. Then the parabola will have absolute maximum as well as absolute minimum as shown here. The absolute minimum of the parabola occurs at x is equal to 0. The absolute maximum occurs at x is equal to 2 because at x is equal to 2, the value of the parabola is y is equal to 2 square which is equal to 4. Therefore, f of 2 is equal to 4. This is the absolute maximum value of the parabola and at x is equal to 0, f of 0 is equal to 0. So, 0 is the absolute minimum value of the parabola. So, these are absolute maximum and minimum values respectively. If you define the parabola on the complete range and domain of interval of its definition, that is all real numbers, then y is equal to x square is a parabola that has only an absolute minimum at x is equal to 0. It does not have an absolute maximum because for every real number, the value of y is equal to x square will keep on increasing and it will keep on increasing indefinitely, which means there will be no peak point where the function is not increasing anymore. Therefore, the parabola has in this particular context, in this particular domain of definition, no absolute maximum, only an absolute minimum.